shopping on AliExpress can be downright scary, especially if you do not know what you are doing, you can get scammed. However, if you have some knowledge and follow some good advice, you can get yourself some really good cracking deals, high quality timepieces at amazing prices. This is what we do in this channel, we dig around for the best deals that we see on different platforms, be it AliExpress, Amazon or others. If that is something that you like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, all the deals for the watches presented in this video will be in the description below, along with the reviews that I have made for most of these watches. And so today, we are going to be talking about the best-selling watches on AliExpress that also happen to be amazing deals below $120. $120 is not a lot of money nowadays, but they allow you to have very high quality stuff, once again, if you know what you're doing. Shall we get to it? Well, let's get to the watches right away. And we are going to be starting from the least to the most expensive watch. The least expensive is this Pagani design AP 11.59 homage, which really impressed me. I reviewed this watch, I think it was last week, and I was, well, very impressed by the quality of the finishing, by the case, by the hollow logs. Everything is extremely, extremely well put together. It is a copage, of course, a pure copy of an existing design, but if you're okay with that, this is a stainless steel case, a domed sapphire crystal, a Seiko VK63 movement in here, and everything is put together exquisitely, especially for a watch at this price point. And with the sale going on right now, the watch is at an outstanding, unbelievable $38. All right, for $38, this is a steal. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how they do this, but it does. But that is what it costs. And if you have not checked the review of this watch, go ahead and check it. I'm going to leave links below. But yeah, I urge you to check this watch. Uh, 41 millimeters in diameter. The log to log is a little bit large at 51. But besides from that, this is really a watch that you should take a look at. Like, go ahead and take a look right now at this watch. Going up in price, we are going to go with a channel favorite, the Steel Dive 1970, and this is a Seiko Willard homage. This is maybe the best selling watch on AliExpress, period, and that is quite logical when you check the watch. The Seiko counterpart is, I believe it was five or six hundred dollars, something like that, with similar specs. So, what we have here, we have a pure homage of the Willard, so 44.5 millimeters in diameter, a Seiko NH35 in here, a full stainless steel construction bead on the head or on the bracelet. All the links are solid, as are now all the elements of the buckle. The loom of this watch is also very, very good. That didn't used to be the case with dive watches. Uh, below $100, the loom used to be crap. Now the loom is getting better and better, and this is proof. You even have a loomed bezel insert in here, which is a different color than the uh, one on the dial. But yeah, a very, very good watch. And once again, a steal for the price, because this one right now with the promotion costs $69. Once again, for $69, this is really, really amazing. You guys who know the channel know this watch, and you know that it's a channel favorite. I recommend it pretty much all the time on most of the AliExpress sales. The next watch in the selection is another channel favorite. It is the Pagani Design 1701, which is once again a copage to the Moon Watch. The Moon Watch was a kind of luxury watch, yes bought a luxury watch that costs like, yeah, $4,000. You can get a new one for $3,000 like five years ago. Now the Moon Watch, last time I checked, was like 
thousand euros on a bracelet. That is like, are you crazy or what? So therefore, these homages are really an option if you do not want to drop that kind of money on a watch. So this one is very well made. It once again has the Seiko Mega Quartz VK67 on it. So Mega Quartz meaning that the main hour is kept by a quartz module and the chronograph is mechanical. So you do have that very nice mechanical feel when you operate the chronograph. Very nice. It does have the same dimensions as the original thing at 41 millimeters in diameter. It does have a very nice dial. I actually compared both of them at some point with the terrible, terrible moon swatch along with both of them. This has a stainless steel construction. There's a stainless steel bracelet option. Don't take that. It's not the, the stainless steel bracelet is a bit of a let down. It's a little bit rough to the touch. It is not bad quality, but it is a bit rough to the touch. So uh, yeah, in order to save a bit of money uh, and get it at the amazing $68 that you can get it as well. I would recommend to get it on the strap. Yeah, don't waste money on that, on that bracelet. But another great choice at this price point. Going a little bit up in price, you have got the Baltany Military and you can have either the Bi Compacts or the Tri Compacts. I have here the Tri Compacts that I also reviewed. I do not actually have the Bi Compacts, but the good thing about this watch, first of all, it's going to be the design. You have a clear retro military design in here that so many love, and you have got very, very nice materials in here, starting by that sapphire crystal. That dome sapphire crystal is one of the best things that I have seen on a watch at any price point. It is that good. Maybe the stuff from Breitling compares, or maybe some very uh, special Omegas, but it is that good. It has some anti-reflective treatment that is pretty much magic. You do not even feel like the crystal is there, seeing it just on the highest of glares but it is so clear, so well made, amazing at a watch at this price point. The construction of the watch is fully stainless steel, of course. You do get a screw and crown and pushers, helping with those 100 meters of water resistance. You do get loom on the Arabic numerals, on the different indices, and of course on the sword hands. You have a date, courtesy once again of the Obiculus Seiko VK63 in here. And the stainless steel case is in a very period correct bead blasted case. So a very good option for those who want that military chronograph without spending the big bucks because this one with code US of 8 costs only $102. I have never seen it this slow, guys and I do really recommend this watch. Let's go to the most expensive watch of the lot, and that is going to be my dearly beloved Military 1963. I could call it the Seagull 1963, which would not be completely true. The movement is by Seagull. Uh, the watch itself was assembled elsewhere, not by the Tianjin Seagull factory, of course, it was assembled by another Chinese factory, but uh, the watch is really high quality. Of course, the links that I put in here are from the watches that I have received myself. If you do not know, the 1963 military is an original Chinese design from, well, 1963. And not Siegel, but other Chinese companies, including Red Star, decided to revive this model and give it a bit of a, a change in there. But they did revive this model and it was an instant hit because it was very inexpensive. At the time, it was like $250 or so. Now it has come down to dangerously low prices. You can have this one with the code, you can have it for $122. Always input that US OFF8 code to get the discount, to get the lower prices. 
The amazing thing about this is of course that very nice construction, but the main selling point about this one is that incredibly looking mechanical chronograph movement. That is a column wheel chronograph. The movement, of course, is an old thing based on a Venus 175 or 185, I believe, but something that is beautiful to see. Don't take a very big magnifier to it because you will see some dust particles and a lot of imperfections, but to the naked eye, it is an amazingly well-made movement, complex and very well-made. Uh, you've got many versions on this watch, you've got different sizes right now. I would go for the more original one, the 38 millimeters, because I do believe that it goes well most wrists. And even though I've had both, I've had the acrylic crystal and the sapphire crystal, I would go for the sapphire crystal, even though the acrylic is more vintage looking and sticking to those times, I do believe that one of the flaws of this watch is to be quite noisy. So if you buy the acrylic, it's gonna be even noisier. But if you buy the version with the sapphire crystal, it's gonna cut down a bit on that noise. So it's gonna be better for your sensitive little ears. That's been it for the selection, guys. I hope it was useful. If it was, do subscribe to the channel. We bring you all these great deals. Whenever I see them, I make a post showing it to you or I make these kind of videos at least once a month so you can know what are the best deals that are around. So if that is something that interests you, do subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button below. If you want more details about any of these watches, I have made detailed reviews that you will find in the description of the video. Thank you again so much, and I'll be seeing you very soon. Goodbye.